All right, so um, I'm gonna tell you some stories. Some stories like uh, what I went through as traveling the world on this cruise ship, you know? Uh, for example, I remember the day, um, I think it was on my first contract or second, I don't know. We went to, I had lunch off in Miami, so we went out to the port, um, to the harbor basically. I rented this, um, we paid for this trio ride. It was like a small boat, um, but a fast boat. And uh, we just went out to the um, to the ocean, to the open water. It was pretty good. And um, yeah, I have a video about it. Have a look. Yeah, so it was really funny, and um, there was this other time when we, we couple of couple of us, like we a uh, few people, we rented a uh, jeep in um, in Mexico in Cozumel Island, and yeah, we, Cozumel Island is just off the coast of Mexico, and um, we rented this little jeep and we just wanted to you know go around the island and have a look because there are some crocodiles and all kind of animals around um yeah so we went into the like a little side road excuse me so we ran into a little side road and driving fast drinking beer and our driver one of the guys we just actually just crashed into the bushes so Oh, Call on the zeal! Filmeztem egyébként, annyira nem jó az izé. A bőrben. Hogy a diájz? Filmezünk! Az! Iha! Persze, nagyon azért mondom, hogy itt a színnek is hátul mindenki. Itt lerobbanunk, bazd meg! Itt ne robbanunk, megfosztunk! Hát, itt kell lerobbanni. Itt kell lerobbanni. Áú! Azt a kurva, be Másik bal. Holott nézd már mi az út te! Oh, we smashed the hole. Uh, there was not much damage on the car and no one got injured or anything. But we crashed it into the bushes and uh, the one of the rear, win, uh, rear mirror fell off. And we had to fix it. So we went back to the... Uh, mega store or how is it called in Mexico? I don't know, like a big supermarket. And we bought like a uh, uh, glue thingy, you know? So we glued it back. We were holding it, the real uh, mirror, till we actually went back to the uh, place where we rented it from. And you know, we got back our ID, we let, we let it go, and we just ran away. That was funny as well. And what else? Yeah, we went to so many places, like, uh, I remember this little island in uh, in the Pacific Ocean, uh, I, can, I think it was uh, Vanuatu. Um, there was this, uh, what was it called, like a blue hole, or I don't know, like a little lake in the middle of the jungle. And it was really good, like, from, uh, you can actually see it was like crystal clear blue water and you can see the bottom of it and there was this little uh, rope thing you know you climb up and you can just actually like fucking Tarzan you can fly into the middle of the lake and let it go and uh, you know good fun also have a video about it and <laughs> Mom! <laughs> 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 
<laughs> he does so good. Uh-oh. Pull the right to your belt, Sam. Uh-oh. Use the right to your belt. Yeah. <laughs> a face plant from there. Oh, shit. 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 Uh oh. Oh yeah. Oh, oh. Are you having go? Sorry. Are you having go? Oh, you can go. Hey, I'll give him the dress when she lands in. Na, most odaadom neked. Te is csinálj egy ilyet. And um, what else? Ah, we went to New Zealand. We were like, uh, I've seen penguins there. Little penguin. We went to this some sort of like uh, penguin refugee place, or I don't know what's that called. And uh, we had to, we can, you know, we had this little penguin, we went out to the ocean and we just released it back to the wild, this little penguin. Um, yeah, it was a good, uh, we went, I went in a Grand Cayman, I went to this, uh, like a turtle farm, and nice little photos with huge and small turtles, you were able to snorkel with them, it was really good. Um, so many stories. Ah, oh, I've seen whales. We went to. I went to for like a whale watching tour in Alaska. I went for this uh, whale watching tour there. That was the first time in my life I ever seen whales. It was so cold, and usually I did not bring any any big jackets with me, you know, for these contracts when I came back for the, for another contract. So I only had like a jumper and a Harrington jacket on me. Uh, it was freezing. But it was raining as well, but it was an amazing experience, you know, go out with this little boat to to the um, to the harbor, to the ocean in Alaska and just see whales, see dolphins, like it was just like you're watching fucking National Geographic in uh, in, in your in, with your own eyes, you know, so it was amazing. Um, yeah, I've done actually both of the crossings, so I was always lucky. I always requested uh, ships, you know, which one I want to work next. So I checked the itineraries and I requested a different uh, ship, which went to different places, you know. So that's how I got lucky. And I was able to do European cruises, Caribbean cruises, Australian cruises, New Zealand cruises, Alaska, uh, Hawaii. So I was able to do the crossings as well. I've done a crossing from uh, from England, from Dover, England, and to, to New York. Uh, we went up to uh, Iceland. It was amazing. Like we rented a taxi for the whole day, and we went to see all these glaciers and uh, geysers in uh, in Iceland. It was so good. Greenland um, yeah to a city called Kakartok I remember I went out and wanted to buy like a magnet or something but uh, as by the time I got out from the ship you know and ended up in the gift shop or something it was already gone like you know there was only one or two shops on the whole in the whole town because there was like I don't know two three thousand people lived there or something so not many gift shops around you know um, yeah, and after that we were we arrived to New York, I think. Yeah, 
Um, I taught the other one, the other side. So I taught from um, um, from Vancouver, Canada, down to down to Sydney, Australia. It took us 31 days, two separated cruises um, from Vancouver to Hawaii to Honolulu, and we stayed like a week around Honolulu, around Hawaii Islands, you know, to to go to um, to go to all the all the big islands in Hawaii. Um, yeah, we rented the car there. I took like a Ford Mustang Cabrio, of course, with uh, some friends and just driving around. There was this place called uh, Road to Hana, and that's really interesting. Like, only like I don't know, like 40 kilometers long or something, but there is like loads of bridges, loads of really little turns, and it's like it takes you a couple of hours to get through the whole thing. Yeah, it's really, really good. Yeah, and then after Hawaii, you know, we went down to Australia and um, on the meantime, we crossed the equator as well and we also crossed the dateline, so that was interesting as well. Obviously, I checked out, you know, when you're crossing the, uh, crossing the equator, that how is it like, you know, that the water in the sink is going to go in the other, other way or it didn't, you know. Um, yeah, so we crossed the equator and we crossed the date line. I lost the day, you know, it happens with everybody. And um, yeah, we went around New Zealand. Uh, it's an amazing place, you know, like I wish I could go back there one day. Like there's so many things to see there, you know. Also in Australia, you know, I only get the chance to go to Sydney and Melbourne. So that's nothing, you know. Um, yeah, but on other contracts, like I was in, uh, I was doing like this European uh, cruises. I was doing Mediterranean from Venice to Barcelona. Um, I was doing the other one from Dover up to Russia to St. Petersburg. Um, I really loved it, St. Petersburg. I was there for the White Nights. You know, when uh, for a couple of days in the evening, you basically have daylight in the evening in uh, over there in St. Petersburg. So that was crazy as well. Um, yeah, I went to this uh, vodka museum in uh, in St. Petersburg, and oh yeah, so we got a good few drinks, good few shots there, a uh, few souvenirs. I've seen like a uh, vodka Kalashnikov, like literally a Kalashnikov bottle uh, with full of vodka. Um, yeah, it was, it was really good. And after that, uh, what else? Any other stories? Um, oh, I've been to this, um, I've been to San Martin. It's in, uh, it's in the Caribbean. It's an island. It's like uh, half Dutch and half French. I don't know, I think. And um, yeah, there is this place called Airport Beach. It's famous, like, you know, basically you go to the beach and the airport is just a couple of meters from there, behind the, behind the fence, you know? So there's like a schedule there, you can see when the big planes are coming. 
or small ones and they are landing basically just above your head a couple of like 10 20 meters above your head and they just landing there you know um yeah so that airport beach is crazy but the best part of it when uh, when you have um, when you have a big plane just about to take off and um, you know they start the engine and everything and the whole thing just like so powerful you know it kicks you away like basically blows you away Okay, for your words. I got children. Maybe a lot. Maybe there was some. Yeah, so like you know, being around and seeing so many things, uh, but you know, you had to work hard for all this, you know, and you had to be really lucky to get these contracts, to get these uh, ships granted, you know, and to be able to have this much off. So, yeah, I could tell you whole other stories about this, you know, like how I managed to to go out and do all these things. And, um, yeah, that was not always a nice thing I was doing, but, you know, everything for the adventure. Um, I just want to do a little, uh, a little conclusion, like about the whole thing as a as an ending for this video, you know. So just basically, like you know, is it worth it? Was it worth it? I mean, I know that we are living in a completely different world now. You know, uh, there is like. There's fucking pandemic going on and cruise ships are stopped. I finished it like six years ago. So I was only doing it from 2010 till uh, 2014 before I moved here to Ireland. Um, yeah, but if you're young, if you're like 20 or something, you know, and you have a chance and you want to travel, you want to have like a new adventure in your life, I suggest you to try or try yourself out on this you know because it's um it's something new you know you're gonna get so many new experiences during this like it's gonna be hard it's gonna be tough i've seen people giving it up after weeks you know like tough big guys so it's not like physically hard some people can't handle it you know mentally or something um I was able to do it because I always looked for the, I mean, I always um, handled this job like, uh, like, like, you know, you are just there for an adventure or something, you know, I wasn't doing it for, uh, to save for a house or to save for, I could have, I could have, but I, I didn't, I didn't save much money, I could have saved loads, I could have saved shit loads of money. I yeah, was this one contract I ended up with, uh, the bank card was broken, this uh, thingy we had before, you know, the GP Morgan card. And I got back and uh, just before the end of my contract, the whole thing, some issue was it with it, so we had to cash out our money. And I had, I don't know, left like maybe seven, seven or eight thousand dollars left 
and uh, I was about to fly home next day. I was flying home with fucking eight grand in my pocket. Like, I couldn't even close the wallet. But that wasn't the problem. I got home to Hungary, to a little city where I come from, you know, from Chorna. And, um, uh, you know, they don't see many times people there with hundred dollar bills. And I went to the uh, exchange, you know, the money change place. And then first time I went with three hundred dollars, you know, to change it to Hungarian foreign. That was fine. Then I went to another place that I got really suspicious, like they were asking questions of me and all this shit. So I ended up going to a different city to change money. But yeah, anyway, I don't want to get into this. Um, back to the ship. So, you know, it was a really hard job. It was a hard job. Long hours, 10, 12, sometimes 14 hours a day, you know, with all this uh, pressure from the management, like special cleaning. You had to remember the name of your guest. Like, what the fuck? Who cares what's the name of that uh, lady or that woman or that fucking... Uh, sorry, not fucking, like... What's the name of the people of your guests? I don't give a shit what's that name, what their name is, you know? It's only in America that you, they like to have, uh, they like being called by their name. Like here in Ireland, not many people really likes it, you know, that you go into a restaurant and they call you like, Hey, Mr. John, whatever. Welcome back, what's the story? No. In America, people like to get called by name. Um, I mean, at least on the cruise ships, you know. So, sometimes I got called into the Metagy office and they were asking me, like, what's the name of the guest from uh, table 142? And I was like, uh, Michael, James, uh, John, I have no, I had no idea, like I was trying actually not to remember it because it was so bad, you know, they were so horrible. Well, anyway, uh, you always had little sleep, you know, between shifts, little sleep, long hours. So that's why you went to the crew bar to drink and forget the whole thing. You traveled, you went to so many places, that's fine, you know, but you worked hard for it. I would do it again, you know, but... Uh, if you want to do it for money, it's going to be hard. If you do it for fun and for traveling and for adventure, that's fine, you know, you can do it for a couple of years. I've done it for four years, you know, five contracts. They say like, if you're not out in five years from the cruise ship life, you're going to stuck there. Um, yeah, like, you know, at the end I left because it's not a life and I managed to see so many places with this company, with the Carnival Cruise Nights, you know. So I managed to see places which I wanted to and where the company went to on those itineraries, you know. So, but in the end, on the ship, you are just a number. You walk into the medical center and they don't ask your name. They ask your crew ID. They ask your number, you know, because you are just a number for them. And that's it, you know. Um yeah thanks for watching I know it's a long long video I hope you enjoyed and I hope uh, you learned something new about this kind of life or about my if you didn't know about these stories like I know that so many of you knew about this that what I was doing before but maybe people some people didn't know so that's why I made this video and um, yeah I hope you enjoyed and I see you back in another video sometime about something, you know? Alright, have a good day everyone, adios.